stroke occurs when there is sudden disruption of the blood flow to the brain the blood vessel carrying the blood to the brain either is occluded or it gets ruptured causing stroke so essentially there are two types of stroke ischemic stroke which occurs because of the occluded blood vessel or a hemorrhagic stroke where the blood vessel ruptures and causes bleeding inside the brain so how does a common person a lay person know the that stroke has happened or the symptoms of stroke stroke symptoms are always sudden or abrupt in onset so any person who develops sudden onset weakness of a hand weakness of a leg a sudden onset weakness of one hand one leg abrupt onset of uh, speech and language disturbances not able to talk like before is slurring now not able to express himself there are all the symptoms of stroke sudden onset of uh, uh, visual blurring sudden onset not able to see at one side of the uh, visual field and when he is walking he is swaying to one side a recurrent tendency to falls this all can be a stroke symptoms in short any symptom which occurs suddenly any neurological symptoms is a stroke unless proved otherwise so what should one do when there is a symptoms of stroke noticed the major onus uh, nowadays is to get the patient as early as possible to the hospital because the as early the patient comes to the hospital better is the outcome the occluded vessel has to be opened as early as possible if not the brain cells are irreversibly damaged that's why what we call a golden hour or a golden period where within few hours after the stroke the brain is not completely damaged and we if we can restore the blood flow to the brain the patient's outcomes clinical outcomes are better and very good so how do we treat so when the patient is brought to the hospital first we decide whether it is a stroke because of occluded vessel or because of the ruptured vessel if it's an occluded vessel we try to open the occluded vessel by giving an injection the process what we call as iv thrombolysis or the other we pass a catheter through the vessel and suck out or pull out the clot what we call a thrombectomy so immediately the vessel is opened and the blood goes to the brain and the blood flow is restored 